I'm here at the Ilpra stand at PPMA Show 2017 with Mike. And behind us here, we've got just a selection of some of the products that you're able to help your customers to make, including a pretty impressive bucket of uh, my, well, one of my favorite chocolate spreads there. Um, other chocolate spreads are available, although I can't name any off the top of my head. Enough about chocolate. Um, Mike, uh, tell me a little bit more about Ilpra. So Ilpra is a machinery manufacturer based in Italy. Um, we are the UK branch, so basically everything is made in Italy. They send it over to us, we install it, we look after it, and we give the customer a day-to-day -day service that you know Italy cannot give from that far away. Um, basically, we have three ranges of machinery for you to see today. Thermoforming machines, we start from the baby thermoformers all the way to the full in-line ones. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's have a quick look at that one while we're here. Follow us. So, talk to me about what happens with this bit of kit here. The thermoforming machine is where you have to make the tray yourself. So it comes off a bottom web film. It can be uh, flexible, it can be rigid. And then the thermoformer makes the tray size that you want. So I have an example in my hand which we can show you. Uh, here we go, right. Medical application we've done. Um, and basically what you do is you thermoform the shape of the product you're going to fill. And then an operator would manually load this or automatically load this via a robot. And then the machine would then seal the top and come out the other end. The pack can be vacuumed, it can be gassed, or it can be just sealed only in a high hygiene environment. Very good. Let's have a wander round here because you've also got some uh, pots, uh, pot filling machines here as well. Come down here and uh, talk me through this. Okay, so this is our rotary pot filler, a twin lane version. We've got a single lane version for the entry level customers and then twin lane, triple lane, quadruple lane and so on, depending on the output the customer needs to achieve. You can see the pots around. Just, just around here. It can be nested from the front. It can be filled via liquid or solids as well. Uh, then you have a DNS feature for the lids, ceiling station, and then you can also put tamper-proof lids on the top, which then get ejected automatically. So it's basically an all automated machine. Brilliant. Now we started off with chocolate, or rather hazelnut spread, as I'm hearing in my ear. It's chocolate, goodness me, to another one of my favorite sweets. Although I've never seen them packaged quite like this. I'm sure this is for demonstration purposes only, but yeah, chat me through this machine here. That we can achieve. This is our Speedy, and this is one of our best selling machines. It's a medium output machine. We were the, the inventors of the Speedy, but I'm sure that you can see a few models that look similar to it nowadays. Um, the Speedy is a medium production machine. It can do both skin pack, uh, seal only, or MAP, so gas pack inside. Um, we can actually build these machines now to do both the MAP pack and the skin pack on the same set of tooling without having to buy a separate tool. So that's a very good function, and that will save the customer a lot of money. Um, the machine can achieve 15 cycles in seal only, 12 cycles in MAP, and about five skin cycles per minute in skin. And this is one of your, I guess, more grown-up machines. You've got some more entry-level machines around there as well that you're showing. Entry-level tabletop machines, and we can actually do skin pack on the entry-level machines just as much as on the medium and high-speed machines. So I don't know if many people are still capable of doing skin pack on the small machines on a budget, because that's essentially the problem with skin pack machine is that it becomes a lot more expensive over your average machines. So we've managed to get the smaller machines to do it as well to help the customers grow into larger customers, which is also better for us. Super, Mike, uh, tell me, how has PPMA 2017 been for you guys so far? It's been great. I love PPMA because I get new inquiries from new people that I haven't met before. I find old clients as well that come and visit me. I usually am the one traveling, so I get to go and see them. This time they come here and I can show them all the range, all at one go, rather than you know just one machine at a time, which is also the harder thing in this job, getting a big machine to a client, explaining a big machine without actually physically seeing it first. So it's great for them to come here. Everyone over the next couple of days, we've been busy. Every single salesperson has been in contact with clients nonstop. So we look forward to following it up next week when we get back to office. Well, listen, Mike, that's great to hear. Grazie mille and have a great rest of the show. Piacere. Grazie mille.